Hello guys, so this video is about sensitivity analysis in system dynamics. So the, one of the first concepts behind the system dynamic, you know, sensitivity analysis in system dynamics is that, uh, you know, system dynamics really comes down to what we call deterministic equations. So at a very, very simple level, you would have something like, if you have two variables, they will determine a third variable. So in a system dynamics, you know, the equivalent would be something like uh, a stock being determined by, or a stock Z being determined by, you know, a variable X and a variable Y. They have some kind of relationship, not necessarily a plus, uh, but they have some kind of relationship. Now, in a regular uh, 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 system dynamics model, you will assign specific values, say variable value, uh, variable x equals uh, value 1, and uh, variable y equals value uh, 2, and then this one would be 3, right? Now, of course, you know, a system dynamics model is much more than that. You know, you have trends over time, you have integration, but my point is, it is a deterministic model. Now, what sensitivity analysis does, is that every time you assume that a, uh, a given variable has a certain value, you know, that information comes from somewhere. So, for example, if your model is trying to predict uh, the number of bariatric or obese patients in the United States, okay, and this is your stock. Uh, basically, you know, the variables that will determine the number of obese patients in the United States will be things such as, for example, the rate of growth of obesity. And, uh, you know, if you're looking at something like, you know, the number of surgical procedures for obese patients, like bariatric procedures, uh, it will be the rate of bariatric procedures. Now, where does this information come from? Well, usually from three places. You can get this from existing databases. You can get this from the literature. And you can get this from experts or focus groups. Now, of course, these three sources of data, uh, they do not necessarily uh, agree like, you know, the information from the database, or from the information from different papers, or the information from different experts, they will vary. So, say, if you, you're saying that, you know, the rate of uh, bariatric procedures in the United States is, and I have absolutely no idea what it is, but, you know, let's just make something up, like, uh, you know, 5% of a given population. Some papers might say it's 2%, and some papers might say it's 7%. So sensitivity analysis is nothing more than uh, taking this initial value, making it vary from two or you know from any two values, say from two to seven, and seeing how uh, these values will affect the final stock that you are evaluating. Okay. So basically, the way you would do this is to pull you know a bunch of numbers. I'm oversimplifying, but would put a bunch of numbers here like you know two percent two point one percent all the way up to seven percent and it could be any number okay so anywhere between two and seven and then randomly draw numbers out of this uh urn and then just plug them into the model okay once you start plugging them in you're going to get several different values for your stock and you will check, uh, you know, the range of values that the stock uh, can take. This is basically a sensitivity analysis. So how do you do this in a, in a uh, system dynamics model? So what I'm going to do is I am going to, this black thing here. So what I'm going to do is to use a model uh, that is the example model from the Vincian manual. Uh, and it's a Salesforce model, really simple model. It's just saying that, uh, you know, if you have a sales force, this sales force will basically sell books. So the more people you have to sell, the more, uh, you know, books will be sold. 
uh, that will give you a budget uh, and that you know will basically indicate you know whether your sales force has to go up or not through hiring. So this is a positive feedback loop. There's a little uh, negative feedback loop here, uh, seeing that you know if you have sales force as your sales force increases, you will be hiring less people. There are two stocks in this model. Uh, one is the sales force. Uh, and one is the cash flow. Okay, and uh, there are also two variables uh, that cannot vary in the model. So again, we're talking about sensitive analysis. The idea here is that we're going to be taking some of these variables, stocks, flows, or uh, constant variables, and uh, we're going to see that they cannot vary. In this specific model, uh, we're going to assume that price of item is not defined by the store, so it's a fixed value, and revenue to sales is also, uh, you know, related to some, say, you know, uh, uh, bookstore uh, uh, or s s store uh, uh, policy, you know, overall corporation policy. So these two are not going to vary. So how do you do this? Well, basically the first thing that you do is that you run the base model with all the, the different uh, variables that are here. Now first, so let's just do one thing first. I'm not going to go all over all the equations, but you can know all the equations for this model by selecting all variables. And you do this by either control A or by uh, just selecting all variables at once and then clicking on this dot button. And this will basically give you a description of the formulas underlying each one of the, the different uh, variables in the model. So basically what you do then um, is you're going to run the baseline model by, you know, you can call this current or base, doesn't matter. And then you click on this button saying run a simulation. You click it once. Then let's see. Uh, you know, we want to check uh, how the sales force is increasing over time. I select sales force and then I click on this button for graph. And here you go. Sales force is increasing over time. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to vary some of these variables to see how uh, the sensitivity analysis will make the sales force behave. So basically what I do is I just click on start sensitivity simulation. And then in here, I am going to be selecting some variables uh, to be varied. Okay. So how, I, how do I do this? So first select parameter. And I get a list of variables here. Uh, and then let's just say I want to vary, so price of item and revenue to sales, we decided they were going to be uh, uh, stable. Uh, and then I can say I want to change sale, uh, sales person salary, okay? And I just say okay. Now what this is saying is that sales person salary, the, the model value or the initial value was 2000. So let's just say that I have reasons from the literature to vary this from uh, 1800 all the way up to, to uh, 2200. So 2000 uh, is in the middle, 1800 is here, 2200 is here. Okay? And I want to use a uh, random uniform or better, I want to use a random triangular uh, uh, distribution. What does this mean? Well, basically what this means is that I can, uh, you know, if the initial value was something like 2000, uh, what I'm saying is that I'm going to be varying my model from 1800 all the way to uh, 12200, but the frequency of this variation uh, will have a triangular shape, so 2000. Here. So 2000 is what we have, you know, the highest probability of uh, happening, and 1800 and two, uh, uh, 2200 will have a probability of zero. Everything in between will have initially a growing uh, probability and later later a declining probability. Okay, so this is the probability. Going back to our model, uh, you know, I click on uh, sorry, I click on uh, add editing. Mm -hmm. uh, 
the minimum value. So let's start with 1800. The peak is 2000. And uh, it's going to stop at uh, 2200. So these are just you know, values related to this. Oh, sorry. So once you have done this, you just do add editing. And here you go, you have a random triangular. Then you go next. And then here, uh, you know, you're going to select the variables that you want to track. Okay. And in this case, what I want to track is uh let's see here i want to track the where's that there? okay salesforce okay i want to track and i also want to track mm, where's that other variable revenue and I also want to track uh, sales budget. Okay. I think I have to do one at a time. So I just click OK here. And then I say add editing for sales budget. And then I also say uh, sales force. Click OK. And then add editing. And I have these two variables. And then finish. Okay. Uh, la, 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 la. Do you want to override it? Sorry, so I forgot to do something. Before we do this, I'm going to call, be calling this the sensitivity data set. Okay. And basically, you know, I could have done this by using the, the you know, initially having put the, the main sensitivity here, but basically ask me at the end. Basically, what I have done so far is that I have created a separate data set just for the sensitivity analysis. And I can check this by coming to Control Panel, looking at my data sets, and then I can see that I have a data set for current and a data set for sensitivity. I'm actually going to exclude the current, which is my baseline. I'm just going to place it on the, the, the left. So I did that by selecting it and then clicking on the... The, the left arrow and then I say OK. okay, And then finally I run the sensitivity analysis by again uh, I have already run it right. Uh, then I select the sales force and then I'm going to generate the graphic for the sensitivity analysis which is this button here the sensitivity graph. And it basically gives me something that looks like this. So the sensitivity graphic basically tells me what is the mean for the, um, what's the, the line, this central line here is the line for the baseline uh, or uh, 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 simulation. And then for different levels of the sensitivity uh, 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 around those values, I will have, you know, values that will go up or down. Okay. I can also, you know, do other things. Uh, by changing the graphic. So for example, if I right click on the sensitivity graphic, I could say, you know, change the colors, change some colors here, right and blue, and then I do OK. I close this graphic, and then I run it again, and I have a different color. I could, for example, select a certain section of the graphic, by push, uh, pressing control, then uh, left clicking the mouse, and then dragging into the sec uh, section of the graphic that I want. Close this, and then run it again, and now I have an exploded version of this graphic. And then finally, another cool thing that you can do, instead of, uh, you know, I can uh, map the individual traces. You will see exactly what this means in a second. So this way, let's close this one. And let's plot Salesforce again. So now instead of having like all of them together, I can look at individual lines for the sensitivity analysis. Anyway, this was a very quick uh, introduction to sensitivity analysis in system dynamics. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, you know, we'll be coming back soon. Bye.